All right, we have all seen images of war, but have we really taken notice of the faces of war? Thousands of military veterans return home injured and in some cases disfigured. But now some of these vets are getting the help they deserve through a pioneering program at UCLA. Lou Parker is here live in studio to explain. Hi, Lou. Hi, Cher. I was so lucky, lucky enough to meet a very special decorated war veteran who fought in Iraq. His name is Aaron Mankin. And one of the first things you'll notice about him is his voice, which is now affected because Aaron actually engulfed flames when a bomb blew up. But that is just the beginning. Corporal Aaron Mankin joined the Marines at age 21 and soon found himself serving in Iraq part of what was called Operation Matador. But just 10 weeks after arriving there... Next thing I know, you know, boom, loud, loud crash I'm inside the vehicle. Uh, all you can see is pitch black, flashes of orange. You can feel the heat. Your natural reaction is to just... <gasps> On this day, his Marine convoy hit a mine. Six Marines died instantly. Mankin and the vehicle were set ablaze. Just the blast itself was, was so huge it threw a 26-ton vehicle filled with Marines tally ammunition. Good 10 feet in the air. Seems boom, boom, back down. My arms caught fire and, and my face had, had caught fire. I closed my eyes, just waiting to die. He was rushed here to the burn unit at Brook Army Medical Center in San Antonio, Texas. This, a picture shortly after one of his first life-saving skin graft surgeries. My ears were gone, my nose were, was gone, my mouth uh, closed up. Fast forward two years and many surgeries later to California, <laughs> where Mankin got the chance to meet with plastic surgeon Dr. Timothy Miller. Does it bother you? Miller is part of a program at UCLA known as Operation Men that treats U.S. military vets like these men and women who have been wounded and disfigured during service in Iraq and Afghanistan. In many of these cases, there's so much to do, you have to figure out which thing is the best thing to do first. Mankin and Miller now consider themselves a team. Thank you so much. They have been in surgery together dozens of times. You can see from these pictures how this 28-year-old's face has evolved. Mankin now has ears and a new nose, built from the skin of his own forehead. We may make an incision down here. At the Operation Mend has helped over 50 vets since it was founded in 2007. Dr. Miller, along with several other surgeons, have been able to make major life-altering improvements. You see their personalities change dramatically. Family personalities, their support structure, they change. For Mankin, who has two young children, Maddie and Hunter, these ongoing surgeries, he tells me, are a chance for him to feel better about himself and to help his kids. What it means to, to their future to be able to walk into their first grade class or go to you know, parent-teacher conferences and, and not feel like I have to sit in the back. I can actually participate and feel more confident. Now, while in Iraq, Aaron was serving as a combat correspondent, and he's now doing motivational speaking. As for Dr. Miller, also a decorated war veteran, he says he will continue to help these men and women because it is the right thing to do. For more information on Operation Mend, you can always go to KTLA.com and click on the big red info button. Sharon, Micah, what an inspiration. I love meeting these guys, all the doctors and, um, and all the vets. Mm. Super cool. Yeah, and it's nice to see that they're rebuilding their spirit yeah, as well. Terrific yeah. story, Luther.